Good morning, friends. Excuse my appearance. I just got up and did my check-ins with my coach, as you saw. And I am gonna go do my first cardio session. I am doing my first cardio session fasted. I've been doing it that way now because it's just more convenient, especially with macros getting lower. So I just have some core burn and some core hard, which I always have before my cardio sessions in here. I'm gonna drink this and then just go to the apartment gym and get my first session out of the way. Um, I am currently five weeks out and yeah, I don't have an update yet from my coach. I don't think he's responded quite yet. Let me just double check. Let me refresh my email. Yeah, he hasn't responded yet, but I literally just sent the check-in. So within like an hour or two, I'll get a response and then I'll update you guys on any changes that he makes. But if you watched my last video all the way to the end, he did make a few changes where I know I now have two really low carb days, which are 80 carbs and they're also really low fat and they're 35 grams of fat. So that's today. I'm going to show you guys like what it's like to eat super low carb and yeah so i did my first 80 carb day yesterday and it went pretty well so to be honest i actually am copying and pasting exactly what i ate yesterday into my fitness pal today to make my life easier because i felt like decently satiated with the foods that i chose and it went pretty well so since i'm only having 80 carbs i don't want to have a little bit of carbs right now and then go do cardio because it would literally be burned instantly from the cardio and I would rather just get this cardio session over with and then treat myself with some breakfast. So yeah, I'm going to finish drinking this, do this cardio and I'm also going to practice some posing today so I will show you guys that. I also have a leg workout today so I'll take you in the gym for that too and yeah, I'll give you guys an update once my coach updates me. guys just finished that cardio session and let me tell you it was hard I really had to dig deep like I felt like I was gonna collapse like my legs were just over it my I felt like I was like breathing harder than usual it was just rough and also I forgot to mention my coach last check-in on Friday did say if I ever have time for extra cardio or if I'm ever like really determined and motivated and have the energy that day to do some extra cardio whenever I feel that like drive to do some. So yesterday, instead of two 45 minute sessions, I did two hours. Did an hour in the morning and then an hour later on. And since today is my last 80 carb day before my double refeed, which starts tomorrow, I decided I'm gonna dig deep and really push and do another two hours. So I just did an hour instead of just 45 minutes and I'll do another hour later. And let me tell you, it's rough. My energy is just not there. I had caffeine this morning, but do I feel it? No, <laughs> but you know what? No grit, no pearl. That is my motto, my mantra. And we'll get through this. I got this. I, I want this. I really, really, really want to qualify for nationals and i need my lower body to catch up and what better way than to get this cardio done and just push for a little extra few extra minutes you know i'm already on the machine just push and get it over with so that's kind of my mindset today today's going to be rough i might need to take a nap and i never take naps but we'll see yeah time to go eat breakfast because i am definitely starving and my coach still hasn't responded yet he's probably just really busy but um as soon as he does respond, I'll give you guys the update. But yeah, see you guys back at the apartment. All right guys, so I'm gonna apologize in advance for my energy levels in this video. I already kind of talked to you guys about that post cardio, but I legitimately feel like a zombie today. But that's just the reality of being in that deep grind of prep. So if I'm not as enthusiastic about things, that's why. But anyways, I'm about to have breakfast and I, I don't know if you guys remember, if you watched my 2018 prep series, then you know that these are a must when it comes to dieting. 
these Joseph's Pita. They are only nine cards and I used to make pizzas on them. I would use them as a wrap. So I found them here at Walmart. I haven't been able to find them at Target or King Supers or any of the other grocery stores, but I found them at Walmart and I'm so stoked that I found them because they have been saving me on these lower carb days. And yeah, I'm gonna have a breakfast wrap on here with a little bit of sauteed spinach and onions. And then some egg whites, a laughing cow cheese wedge, and turkey bacon. And then on the side, um, a little packet of oatmeal with some nut butter and some protein powder because it's hard to hit protein when your carbs and fats are so low. So any little place that I can add some protein, like extra egg whites or protein powder, I try and do that. So yeah, that will be breakfast. And this is also my pre-lift meal. I don't really have the carbs to be having like cereal before my lift like I did on my refeed day last video. So in about an hour and a half after having this meal, I'll be heading to the gym. guys so I got my check-in response from my coach and I'm really happy because he's not making any changes we're still gonna stick to the two low days like really low days of 80 carb 35 fat and then the other days are 110 carb 40 fat and my protein always stays consistent at 140 grams and then I also still have my two refeed days a week and cardio is staying the same so seven days a week 90 minutes 45 in the morning 45 at night and yeah, so I'm grateful that no changes are happening. Um, I'll show you guys my check-in photos right over here. I feel like I looked a lot tighter today, so that made me really happy. And my lowest weight last week was 122.6. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video. And then this morning I was 123. So things are moving. I'm happy with my progress. Just have to keep grinding these last few weeks out so that my legs can get as lean as my upper body. So... Yeah, before I go do my leg workout, I did wanna to quickly touch on digestion. Somebody had asked in the comment section of my last YouTube video about how my digestion is and how I keep that healthy. Um, last prep, I struggled a lot with digestion, especially once I got to like the eight week out mark and further. This prep, my digestion has been really good. Um, and I think that that's because I'm incorporating a lot more fruits and vegetables into my macros. So any place that I can add like a little bit of fruits and veggies, I do. So whether that be spinach in my omelet, spinach with scrambled egg whites, peppers and onions, like those little things, I don't really count because I'm just using like a little handful of them. Um, if I'm having a salad with an entire bag of lettuce, then I'll count the whole bag of lettuce. But if I'm just doing like a handful or a pinch of spinach here and there, that I don't count. Um, a great way to get spinach in is using a blender and mixing it with protein powder and making a protein shake. Um, 
And then fruit I've been getting in either with breakfast or occasionally I'll do it with like a yogurt parfait. Or if I have a yogurt, I'll like throw a little bit of blueberries on there. So yeah, just fruits and vegetables are really great for digestion. And then I also occasionally take a digestive enzyme, which I'll go grab that really quick so you guys can see. So this I just get off of Amazon. And I usually have this if I'm having a bigger meal than I'm used to. So specifically on refeed days. I will have this or I'll have it with my last meal of the day if I'm having it close to bed. So sometimes when I work a 12 hour shift, I have to get home, do cardio, and then eat my last meal and then I go straight to bed to do it all over again to wake up at 4 a.m. the next day. And eating close to bed is not bad for you, but it is um, a little bit stressful on your digestive system because your body's trying to sleep, but it's also trying to digest food. So if I have a late meal, then I'll also have these digestive enzymes and I just take one um, so yeah, that's things that have been helping me with my digestion and also just hydration is also super key. So I drink two to three of my hydro jugs every single day. So yeah, that's it on digestion. Time to go get this leg day done. Leg days are rough for me, especially with only 80 carbs. So I'm going to do the red, white, and boom pre-workout. This has 400 milligrams of caffeine. I don't think I'm gonna do a full scoop, but probably like three fourths of a scoop. So it's around 300 milligrams of caffeine. And that will be my pre. Time to hit legs. And I'm also gonna be posing after leg day. So I'll film that too. All right guys, so I'm about to leave for the gym and I just mixed up some of this red, white, and boom. And I am gonna have a quick little snack before the gym that is super low carb. So if you're low carb and you need something to kind of snack on, cucumbers and zucchini are great, but also Whoa. I love to get these bread and butter pickles. I'm not a huge like dill pickle kind of girl. Like I'm not a fan of that taste, but I love bread and butter pickles. So I'm gonna have like four of these and I'll put the macros up on the screen. The only reason that there's, that I'm counting them is that these are not the low sugar kind. There is a low sugar kind that's hard to find, but I couldn't find them this time. So there is some sugar that kind of makes this sweet. So I am tracking it as like two or three carbs. But yeah, I'm gonna have a few of these before I head to the gym as like a quick little snack. And it does help with a pump too because of the sodium in them. So yeah, see you guys at the gym.
All right, guys, just finished leg day. It was definitely a struggle today. Just felt like I was gonna, you know, take a nap in the middle of the gym. I was just so tired and definitely had to take longer rest times, but that just comes with being this deep into prep. That lift took me an hour and a half and I did 15 minutes of walking beforehand. So now I'm gonna do a little posing in this room really quick and then I'll do another 20 minutes of cardio and I'll still have a little bit more cardio to do later. But for now, I'll just film my posing for you guys. Um, usually I pose in shorts and like a sports bra, but I didn't bring any today. Um, but I will be posing tomorrow again with my posing coach on FaceTime. So today I'm just kinda gonna like focus on going through the movements and really focus on the walk because that's my hardest struggle is like the bikini walk, so. Yeah, gonna practice all of that, and then uh, I'll be doing a little more cardio, and I'll see you guys at home. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. Trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I I did 15 minutes of cardio before my lift and then 25 minutes of cardio. No, 20 minutes of cardio after my lift. Hank's drinking water. <laughs> I feel like he always does that when I'm filming. So um, I, yeah, did 15 minutes before lifting, 20 minutes after lifting, and then I'm gonna do another 25 later in the apartment gym to total two hours for today. And that'll be the like the rest of the extra cardio that I'm doing this week, yesterday and today, that's it. The rest of the week I'll just stick to my 90 minutes. And so now I'm gonna have a post-workout meal, which is going to be another Joseph's Pita. I'm gonna do like a little barbecue chicken wrap and it's gonna be shredded chicken with this sugar-free barbecue sauce. And then to add a little kick to it, this is um, mustard, it's zero calories. And I'm gonna have a little bit of this mustard. And then some shredded lettuce, a laughing cow cheese wedge. And on the side, I'm gonna have some Quest chips. And today I'm gonna have the loaded taco flavor. And that'll be my post-workout meal. guys so I had that meal and it was really good but I'm gonna have a little something sweet now and it's this salted caramel light and fit Greek yogurt I'll put the macros up on the screen and then I'm probably just gonna kind of stay in this outfit and do some laundry some errands around the house and then soon go do that other cardio session that I still have to do so yeah gonna have this first all right guys sorry if it's really loud it just started raining but Josh and I did a bunch of laundry and then I kind of just chilled on the couch 
almost fell asleep, but decided to stay up and I'll just go to bed early tonight. Sorry, the rain is really loud, but um, I'm gonna go get this last 25 minutes of cardio done in the apartment gym, and then I'll probably eat and then take like an Epsom salt bath because my body definitely needs it. And I would have been done with my cardio already, but I did make the decision to do two days where I push myself a little extra and get extra cardio done. So today is one of those days, and the next two days are refeed days, so I just am looking forward to that. You know, my energy is not there today. I'm just kind of drained, but no grit, no pearl. I freaking got this. All right, let's go do these last 25 minutes. All right, guys, done with my cardio officially. Time to go head back. I'm gonna eat something and then Probably take an Epsom bath because I need it. All right, see you guys at home. All right, guys, I feel like I just look like a hot mess this whole video, but that's just reality of prep when it takes up like your whole entire day and you're doing cardio and lifting and posing and all this stuff, but yeah, it's all good. I'm gonna take a long bath and shower after this, so let me just get some food in me. So for this meal, this is gonna be my dinner, and then I just have like something a little sweet later on before bed, but it's going to be the Trader Joe's cauliflower rice, two servings of that with some broccoli that I already have cooked up in this Tupperware, and then this shrimp, this is also from Trader Joe's, I just thaw it under some hot water, and then I like put it on a pan with a little bit of seasoning. So yeah, that's gonna be, oh, and then also, a whole egg on top of that. So that will be my dinner. Alright guys, so I'm just ending my night with something kind of random, but I didn't really have many carbs, or any carbs left really, like hardly any, just kind of like some proteins and fats. And so I am going to have egg whites, which I'm going to make sweet egg whites. If you guys watched my 2018 prep series and you've seen me make these before, and yes, it does sound gross, but when you're this deep into prep, it actually tastes amazing. So yeah, don't judge me. I'm dieting. <laughs> so I'm gonna do egg whites, which I throw a Splenda in, and then I also sprinkle some cinnamon sugar, or just cinnamon, I mean, on top with some Walden Farm syrup. And then I'm gonna have a little spoonful of this Legendary Foods blueberry cinnamon roll nut butter, and that will be the rest of my full day of eating. I'll show you guys that in the next clip with the macros.
right guys that is it for my full day of eating i hope that you enjoyed seeing you know what it looks like to eat 80 carbs and only 35 grams of fat and just remember that this is temporary i only do it twice a week i finished the day strong even though it was a struggle but tomorrow and the next day i get my refeed days so i'm excited for that we are getting so close five weeks out currently and next week i'll only be one month away from show day so it's crazy time is starting to really pick up and each week is going by faster now i feel like so yeah thank you guys so much for following along on this whole journey and i can't wait to keep taking you along up until show day i'll see you guys next week bye